here and today I'm going to do a small simple project. These old triplet meters use a 30 volt battery which is a little bit harder to find and certainly expensive especially considering the value of what you're getting and it's a lot easier to use three 9 volt batteries in series and since these always test above 9 volts you use three alkaline 9 volt batteries in series so in other words you have minus to plus and then you'll connect this plus to this minus this then minus to plus this plus to this minus plus and then you'll just wire it straight into the circuit and all you need are three 9 volt batteries and some 9 volt battery clips and you're good to go on this and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and make the modification and show you uh, each meter is going to be slightly different in terms you may have to spread these around in other words I'm going to mount one battery over here and I'll use a zip tie to just uh, tack it around this, this fuse right here I'll put another one right here and then I'll put the third one right here where the original 30 volt battery was and it'll work great I've already done it to this nice triplet 620 meter over here works perfect get nice long life out of the batteries this way and you can still get alkaline 9 volt batteries cheap if you buy them in bulk from Amazon so even though you have some work up front this is still a cost effective solution and you can pretty much be assured that 9 volt batteries aren't going to go away this is always going to be available these custom made 30 volt batteries for these old meters I think there was a period of time where no one was making them at all now someone's making them but they're not cheap and from what I can tell if you use the ohms function much at all it doesn't last you know you're better off I think converting it to the 9 volt and then in the future you're good to go so I'll go ahead and make the modification show you what I did so about 15 minutes later here we are and all three 9 volt batteries are installed and wired together as you can see uh, one at each position I used a nylon spacer to give pressure against this one to hold it in here nice and snug the other two I used a zip tie which you would just have to replace the zip tie if you replace the battery all the other work is done the clips are already installed I use the good higher quality clips not the little floppy clips that you see on the cheaper so this unit is ready to go now all I have to do is put the D okay I got the probes here we're set on the X times 10,000 scale and as you see we can easily blast past the end of the meter there's plenty of adjustment left let me set the camera down clip these two leads together that way I'll have one hand free and I'll show you that we can adjust it to zero I have a jumper wire connecting the two leads together and we'll go ahead and adjust the ohms here and as you see it's no problem at all to bring it into zero okay what I found is a 100,000 ohm resistor of good precision I believe these were either one or two percent tolerance so I'll go ahead and show you that it's zeroed out here clip it on and we have excellent precision there I thought I'd show you the same uh, upgrade on the triplet 630 PLK here this one has a hundred thousand ohm scale so that's what we're using here now it's the same resistor here it is zeroed out so we'll go up here check it and as you see it's spot on so I highly recommend this upgrade hope it found it useful